How's it going, boys? Before we start, I must warn you, this deck is mainly for fun. While you will still have a roughly 50% plus win ratio if you play it correctly, uh, this, this absolute beauty is more for combo and entertainment purposes than actually being a really, really powerful deck in the meta. And boys, when this, this combos, oh, it pops off hard. Let me explain how this works. A Johnny's Welcome Dawn of Hope of Value Cards, Olivia. For 5 mana you can double the amount of tokens you have. In a deck like this, mana is not usually a problem. Raise the alarm, join the dance initial token generation. A Gale Greeter. A little bit of early pressure. A Welcoming Vampire for drawing. Looming Shami just so I don't mill myself. Song of Freylas, a Rishkar, and Halo Fountain. Now those are the difference makers. You see, when you have Song of Freylas, everything you own suddenly becomes a mana battery. So let me exp uh, so let me essentially explain this. Turn 2, raise the alarm. Turn 3, drop lands, drop Song of Freylas. Suddenly these two things give you two extra mana. So you have three mana. For that three mana you can play a Halo Fountain, a Welcoming Vampire or whatever. If you play another Join the Dance or something, that means that next turn you have a Effectively now, around, I don't know, a lot more mana, 5-ish, something like that. So essentially on turn 4 you're dropping, uh, dropping Rebel Rousing, and you have a full board. Or Anointed Presence doubling up. Halo Fountain Majestic card that pretty much just creates value out of thin air. Considering how easy it is to top our creatures and we have Rishkar and Song of Freylas to buff them up and uh, allow them to generate a mana for us, uh, this thing is essentially just free real estate constantly. Free mana, free draw, free win condition, free whatever. And uh, Rebel Rousing is obviously a bit insane. Whenever you attack with one or more creatures, create that many 1-1 one, one green and white to citizen creature tokens. So essentially, if you attack with 5, this creates 5 tokens. But wait, we have anointed presence, so it's either 10, 20, or 40 tokens in an instant. That's right, boys. This thing can go insane in the membrane extremely easy. And honestly, I'm playing kind of the watered-down version of the deck because... I have Looming Shamans. Looming Shamans in reality are never going to be useful in this deck, so you might as well just remove it and go on full Song of Freylas, full, uh, full Halo Fountain, or full Olivia. And with that being said, boys, you know what you should do? You should take 5 seconds and subscribe and like the video, maybe even leave a comment if you will, because that helps the channel, that helps the channel a lot. And we have... Well, this, this this is a relatively old person who joined and decided to support us directly. Federico Nara Naranjo? Federico Naranjo. Are you from a Latin American soap opera or something? Your picture even seems that you are from one. Anyway, Federico, thank you. Thank you for supporting the channel directly for two months already. Ah, amazing. And... Thank you for everyone else, the Patreons, the absolute everyone's. And with that being said, 23 lands to be specific could technically cut down to 22 lands. But with that being said, without any further ado, let's just uh, get a cracking and see what happens. You know what I'm thinking about, boys? Well, MILFs, kind of, but not even a tricky question, honestly. But you know the second thing I'm thinking about, boys? I would honestly play this deck in... Explorer play, but I'm not sure an Explorer just play option exists. And if it does exist, it's way too much effort to find where it is in the Magic the Gathering Arena interface, which was most likely created by a child on the wrong side of the spectrum. Why does Wizards allow children to g implement things in their games? No idea. But, but, but they do. Sad. Cat on purple, we go first, we got in the John, actually, Johnny's welcome, a welcoming, a welcoming waifu, I like it, oh, well, oh, this time at least you don't have to wait too long for the moment that you say you misplayed, technically nothing really changes because uh, a Johnny's welcome still gets dropped, I'm obviously not gonna play join the dance, I'm gonna play a uh, welcoming vampire mommy, because, Reasons obvious. Oh, 
Tempo, tempo, tempo. This is bad. Tempo is just annoying, honestly. But the good part is he can't actually do anything against against us. For one mana wait, pushback. Does blue tempo now play pushback? Because the only one cost counter spell uh, works against control decks. Spell pierce or whatever whatever it was called. So now it's either it's gonna be pushback of fading hope, yeah, that's 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 kind of what I was looking for right there, boyo. Uh, how do I want to do this? I have a feeling he's gonna be real annoying now. Should I? Should I bait? It's not really bait of. Eh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's bait. Let's bait. He's gonna use a counter spell against this. I am a. I am theoretically huge on the life gains, so we may outscale him because most of the things he plays is gonna be flying, and there's gonna be a a lot of annoying cards that he uses potentially. So yeah, wash away. Good choice. Actually, it was a stupid choice, but no one tell him. I, li I like the idea that he doesn't know that he made bad choices. Okay, do we do another one? I honestly think dropping a Velcomy boy, join the dance and Song of Freilus is gonna be so much pressure he can't just ignore us. Uh, do we risk it? He ha he has another counter spell. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do it like this. I'm, I'm gonna do it like this. Technically, getting Song of Freilus countered or whatever is also not that bad, but it's, you know, it is what it is. He's now thinking. He's now thinking. If he's thinking, that means he most likely doesn't have so many counter spells left. If he doesn't have so many counter spells left. Oh, well then, that gives us options. Also, this is actually huge if we get Welcoming Vampire down. So, I don't exactly care too much. He's probably thinking Anointed Presence, Castle Ardenvale, and a Johnny's Welcome. Uh, will I be able to outscale his aggro? What a matchup. But even though it currently looks like he has the worst draws in the history of any Temple Blue deck ever, because honestly, that's true. Right? Uh, he didn't go first. He did. He played a, a, a sudden storm, a storm tamer turn one, but he did not play a turn two instantaneous uh, curse of obsessions curiosity curiosity. He didn't play an instant turn two curiosity, but which gave him perpetual one hundred percent card advantage. So you know. Anything that's not a one drop on turn one with a tempo blue deck into a curious obsession. Curious obsessions! Here we have it. Into a curious obsessions means that you're low skilled. Okay? That doesn't mean you're ever unlucky. That just means you're low skilled. It is what it is, boys. I did not make the rules. But anyway, two, uh, two wash aways used. He knows that there's a welcoming vampire, so. A gin would be really devastating. But doesn't look like it. Okay, let's go. Let's see what he does. I'm okay with join the dance. Well, actually, I'm not okay with join the dance. And essence capture. Super annoying, but it is what it is. Even if he... Wait, even if he... Wowza. Okay, that's that's way more than I honestly expected, but that's fine. Do you think he's gonna have one, uh, one more? That he did not. Oh, 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 my sweet, sweet, sweet summer child. That is so unlucky, as they say. We're gonna counter Rishkar. Oh my God, he actually got. Wait, why would you not go for for the Gale Greeter counter? How does that make sense? Are you gonna push him back or something? Again, even that doesn't make a lot of sense. But man, yeah, those two essence scatters were kind of like uh, the big cheese here, huh? Uh, let's just go for it. Let's join the dance is the big play. Again, even though he's technically unlucky, the fact that he controlled does not... Uh, Right, that just happened. Okay, me likey. Me likey a lot. 
gain life, that's four life. That's a two two suddenly. Now there is an argument for why I shouldn't honestly be attacking. There's a mighty fine argument for that. But ah, I'm gonna say doubt. Do I attack? He's looking at his cards. He may have a pushback, but I'm not scared of a push. I don't know. I, boys, I don't know my options. Attacking, he blocks. I still gain more life and there's a Castle Arden bailout. Song of Freylas is dead for the moment unless I start drawing lands. And drawing lands would be horrible at the moment. But now we're gonna see if this is a 30% land draw ratio game, or is this a 50%? Because the next draw would put us at almost 50% and it would mean that we get two lands in a row. And non-gaining a land would mean that we're at a 30% land draw ratio. Ah, uh, I will attack, I will risk it, I will risk it. Again, we have honestly no business winning against Blue Tempo in the first place. The fact that this guy is just low skill, kind of his own fault. Man, imagine not playing Curious Obsessions on your uh, uh, Siren Storm Tamer on turn 2. I mean, that's definitely like the, the prime definition of low skill, in fact. Okay, he's not doing a lot. Rish cards for everyone. Do you think he's gonna just do a third essence scatter? He doesn't! Mamma mia! Okay. I can't believe he actually did not. Uh, that's that's actually really hard to believe for me. So, aha! Uh -huh, now he does the pushback thing. Okay, wait, he fatal- He just fa faded that guy and called it a day. That's also not exactly great play. And he had no interaction there. Oh, you poor sweet summer child. This is the lowest skill tempo blue player I have ever had the displeasure to play against. Oof. Oof. Oh, by the way, boys, you know what happened ye yesterday? My phone goes off. I'm like, ah, somebody loves me. And I go check the phone. And no, it wasn't the low battery. It wasn't low battery. It was my mom. And I'm like, at least my mom loves me. I, I opened WhatsApp and she, she just was using me as a bookmark for YouTube videos again. Hey, it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is, boys. I'm gonna just continue doing this. Maybe he pushes it back, who honestly knows at this point, right? But, I am gonna continue doing this. I could- you know what? Screw it! Wait, I can't- Oh, I can't drop it. Because I already have a rish- rish car, rish tar. Okay, I like it. I'm, I'm gonna try and go for uh, the max- a uh, maximum here. The- the absolute maximum play. Man. You know, we're, we're, we're entering the point in our lives where when your dad, when you're a kid, when your dad goes uh, goes to the store for a pack of cigarettes and never returns, you know, we're, we're at that point where they, uh, they are, uh, they, when someone's gonna receive a message and it's gonna be a random YouTube's, uh, YouTube videos and links and you're gonna ask, excuse me, who the hell are you and why are you t t sending me these links and, you know, the the answer is gonna be Steve. I'm your dad, and you're gonna be like, Papa, are you are you finally gonna return? Are we gonna go play uh, catch? My my now 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 relax relax. I'm not returning to your life. Obviously, you're still as much of a disappointment as you ever were as a child, and your mom's still an annoying cunt. So I'm not returning. But you are the only person in my contact list who is not worth enough so I can use you as a bookmark. That That's where we're mo slowly moving to as a society. Kind of scary, but funny at the same time. 
Also, I don't think Card and Avatar Kun is happy about it. But he's German because he's using a Card and Avatar. You soulless pack of machines. Self hating soulless pack of machines. It's quite hilarious. Admittedly, 100% deserved. But still, kind of, kind of funny. Kind of funny. Who plays Washed Away also? I, I, I honestly kind of sussy about Washed Away. Because there's... There's not a lot of things that you're not... That you're gonna counterspell with Washed Away for what Bob? Huh. <laughs> also, I love this. He's mad. He's mad. Low, low skill Andy. Low skill Andy! Well, he's an AC uh, he's an AC from from the nineties, so you know it is what it is. Essence scattered. What a card! I can't make a deck with essence scattered. Every time I make a deck with essence scattered, by the way, I have tried like legitimately many times, but any time I make a deck with essence scattered, I never play against the creature deck. I think it's just. Arena's easiest way to tell me that it doesn't exactly like me or want me. So when I create a deck with Essence Scatter, I literally in am incapable of playing against the creature deck. Wait! What happens if I copy my green deck that literally never played against the control in like 20 plus games? And put an Essence Capture into in that deck? Will I play against nothing? Will will I just never find a matchup? That would be amazing. This looks good. Keep. Glee Greeter and Olivia. Yeah, this looks easy. Actually, this looks super fine. I love it, in fact. What's the best card that I can draw after that, though? That's the real question. Start off with this. Just reveal the time Selesnia right off the bat. Blow Tempo. Again? There's no world where that's just not blue tempo again. Is he gonna drop the pirate boy? Yup! Spectral Sailoru. What a card. Honestly, it's just too good for blue tempo in general. He does nothing? Is he gonna bounce my greeter? No? Okay. I'm actually thinking this is not blue tempo. As strange as that may seem to you, but it's true. Maybe this is not Blue Tempo, because this does not remind me too much of how Blue Tempo is usually operated, or whatever. So let's do it like this. He actually just let it slide. Yeah, this is... This is a combo deck. Yeah, this is a combo deck. There is a chance that he has something with haste. This is Simic, this is Simic Tempo, or... Yeah, no, this is a combo deck. Uh, Spectral Sailor can be used as a free... Ooh, wait, what? Nah, well, it's still a combo deck in that case. The only question is, does my board get wiped now? Hmm... No? No, no, no is fine. No is absolutely fine, by the way. I am a firm believer of the word no. Let's see. I do this now. Yes, yes, yes. I do, I do, I do. And then we can, well, we can actually pop off pretty hard. Because that means that I can play Anointed Presence if he does nothing. Psst. Sure, okay. Wow. So someone did not get his favorite toy as a child. Woof. Rewind. Ouch. Oh my god, he actually had Night Pack Alpha. This guy's just a moron! Oh no! Oh no, this guy's just a moron! So it's... it's yeah, it's a... It's some kind of Magic for Pagic, uh... Tempo deck. I think he's gonna drop the second ambush... Uh, the second... Uh, the second Alpha thing. I think that's that's what's gonna happen. It's gonna be a second night pack ambusher. Okay, okay. Honestly, you know, could could be worse. Could be worse. 
Song of Freilas into a uh, five cost seems also pretty pretty on point. No, not on point, but pretty good for the circumstances. Wait, he didn't have a, uh, he didn't have a second uh, alpha. Well, whatever. In that case, I guess. So this is an escalation type of thing, by the way, because look at this. We're not create because look at this. We're not creating two tokens. No, we're creating four tokens. Well, actually, two tokens. My my mistake. Wait, what? Creating? Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, that that that's fine. Oops, I I I got. I I completely screwed up the thing. Yeah, I was cozy. Yeah, this is fine. Oh, I I got the cards mixed up. I got the cards mixed up, which is kind of funny still, but yeah. But anyway, as you can see now. He can no longer attack freely. Oh, he yeah, you can you 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 can block. I'm actually sure I am a nice person. I am a nice guy. I will allow you to block my dear sweet summer child. Absolutely fine, in fact. Because I'm just gonna do that again. Yeah. Just, just gonna do that again. Pretty nice. Let's let's see let's see who's gonna win. The guys, the guy who continuously escalates the situation, or the guy who does random things, I guess. Don't know, don't care. Could be good, could be bad. Oops, drop my stick. Do you think he? Yeah, he attacks, but that's that's not a big boy attack. That, that is not a big boy attack. And now. Actually, what's his solution? Yeah, what's his solution? Everything just became a... Well, lot strong, honestly. And I can just do this. This, this just went pretty good. <laughs> okay, what can he do? He can't exile them because he doesn't have any white. Only instant speed removal card. Yeah, another, another, another one. Okay, good enough. Sure, as I expected. As I expected, I I called it. Be you know, I I did call it. Ah, uh, you should probably still you know block a little bit more there, chief. They are invulnerable, by the way. Don't know if you have noticed, but yeah, they they're kind of invulnerable. So, um, yeah, that probably didn't go as he expected. That probably didn't go as as he expected at all. Damn. Okay. You know what's a good, uh, also, technical item that you can put in this deck? Helm of the Host with the most. It's niche, but it can be really, really, really good. It can be really good. Or the... 3 cost cat that makes other cats, which is also pretty good. Okay, so... We're continuing the escalation now. <laughs> oh, we're continuing the escalation. I love it. Also, what's our land draw ratio currently? 50%! Oh boy. I love how some people can say, no, 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 this is all fine, this is all fine, relax, everything's fine, v wizards RNG, really now? Really now? Really, really? Seriously? Did you, did you, SERIOUSLY? Of all things possible, you, you just literally did that, huh? Holy moly. Oh, and he does for- he goes for a double block? Ah, you can't! Yeah, it's still real annoying, dude. It's still really annoying. Oh, he's- he's doing it like that? Uh, that's actually fine, I guess? I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, if, if he can just draw extra cards, I guess that's not the worst case scenario. Uh, might as well play this. It's still an 8-8. Eight, eight. Admittedly, you know, his... Dude, third alpha. Like, come on. Though, like, for real, come on. 
A third night pack ambusher. That that's just that's just stupid, okay? That that's just stupid. Even I couldn't predict the third night pack ambusher. <laughs> and when I can't predict oh oh my Oh fuck fuck come come on Come come on Frill I I kind of did think that that's probably extremely plausible but yeah Uh this doesn't make me feel good that that would have been the final nail in the coffin you know That that would have been good Dude night pack ambusher <sighs> 3 night pack ambushers how do you even how do you even live with yourself knowing that wizard just is tugging on at you constantly otherwise you will not be able to do anything and he just summons three of them per turn okay this is pretty good though this is pretty good because he needs to block constantly he pretty much just doesn't have another choice in the matter. And if he's thinking, well, I'm just not gonna be counter spell join the day. Yeah, yeah, you can't not do that, chief. You, you, you literally are not allowed to not do that, okay? An octopus? Okay, I, 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 I guess. He could have easily just did that at a spectral sailor and I would have said GG, no chance. For the last dance, but instead you were like, nope, 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 nope. Yeah, a lot of conf That costs one. You, you know I can still pop that thing, right? Well, anyway. Yeah, now that's a 12-12. Good luck. <laughs> he needs to block. I don't know if he blocks with both or just... Oh, he blocks with the frilled also. That's questionable. Okay, so the point of the matter is here. As soon as I get to the point where the tokens that I create are so big he uh, he loses value when blocking, we kind of win, right? That that that's when we win. You should have used the castle uh, Ventress. But that's okay. I don't expect you to understand what game you're playing. And speaking of not understanding what game we're playing. Let's continue on. Also, how many lands in the row did I, uh, I just draw? Five, nine. Yeah, nine. Not the worst, but not the best by far. Wait, that's actually too much. If he ex if he exchanges two for two. Now, this is still exchanging four for four. Ah, fuck it. Let's attack. I I'm not the person to just sit here and... Uh, care so it is what it is dude three night pack ambushers i'm i'm literally actually pissed i am i'm legitimately fucking pissed <laughs> because it's so bad wait he just blocks that's not how you block you needed to kill that why how who where Okay, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, blah, blah, blah. That's still not enough, though. And he does nothing for the 20th time in a row. And we got a land. Amazing. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, join the dance it is. I will soon be able to just flat out attack and... Yeah, okay, that's, that's, that's fine. No one cares. If he counterspells it, I don't care, right? Yep, he counterspells it. Still not exactly care, caring a lot. What a matchup. No, like, seriously, what, a, what an absolute matchup. Okay, now it's four attacks. He needs to block with more things. He needs to block with three things. Wait, no, that's not what I mean. That's not what I mean. No, that's... Yeah. Yeah, that's not what I mean, dude. If you're just... The... I guess he's... 
he thinks he can no I don't even know what he thinks I don't I, I, I just don't okay that's not bad considering I can do this create a bunch of, okay okay so here's the deal right I could win by literally attacking I honestly should do that by the way yeah you know what I'm just gonna go and see if we can win here <laughs> 1818 what a time to be alive oh come on wizards please and attack with everything that should be the vintage spinach unless he pulls out a miracle but i'm not gonna sit here and just wait until some 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 bs3 happens right five hp five hp boy not enough hp as they say He's he's blocking. He's a blocking. Not impressed. <laughs> Honestly, not impressed. Not impressed at all. Oh, oh. Yep. Now you need to block more. Wait, actually, is he gonna serve? Oh my! Now he's still not surviving. Or is he... wait? Is he surviving with one HP? Is there a world where he survives with one HP? Wait, is this the world where he survives at 1 HP? Oh my god, mad is for blockers. That's just for sure. Uh, okay, sure, drop a shot. <laughs> drop a shot. Okay, yeah. Okay, drop the sharky barky. Uh, nothing you do still wins right yeah nothing you do still wins i'm surprised he's alive by the way like seriously three man three man is not enough chief yep lost the thing yep. it's it's okay it's okay i can't i i, I just can't believe games like this <laughs> ah when desperation sets foot Truly deep. Well, look at that. I'm also on one HP. Impressive. Impressive. Calculated, boys. Calculated. Now, if you look at this hand real closely, this is bait. This is horrible. If I keep this, I have no chance of winning. But the potential is too high, so I will do what must be done. I will not mulligan. Mama didn't raise no pussy. Or a hussy. I guess it's the same thing almost, huh? Sacrifice deck, maybe? Well, I don't know, but we are absolutely entering poker god territories here. So I guess it is what it is. Oh yeah, this is sacrifice. I didn't even know that, notice that this is a uh, two-sided land. Man, I hate the art for these two-sided lands. It's so bad. Calden Haim. I think this is Calden Haim. Nothing? Okay, interesting. Well, I'm not gonna play anything also, because p, -p, -p, -p poker god. Imagine a world where we had one green and we could um, drop the greeter. God, this card is just so good at almost any situation. Hello? He 100% also has red, right? Yep. That was expected. Because typically, if you're playing against just the Golgari Cat Oven, they don't play Gooses often. But red does play Gooses. Because Gooses are really, really sprucey. Because they usually play the five cost dragon thing or whatever the fuck it is. So, yeah. Also, I don't think I have many options here. This is great. I will, hey, say what you will, at least he didn't drop an oven. Admittedly, say what you will, I don't see a way to win. win. I'm probably not drawing a... Yep. Not even drawing a land, boys. What an experience. Some people say... This was your own fault for... Yeah, I could probably need to ditch that. 
Pro some people will try and say this was your own fault for not mulliganing that hand. And for those people, I will answer, how dare you? None of this was my fault. As you can see, I have three anointed presences and all the two worst white lands possible. Arena currently does not want me to win. So, doing, uh, so trying even to play this game, uh, play this one matchup out is kind of pointless to be, uh, to be completely honest with you. Best case scenario, now we draw green. And we didn't! A 20, no wait, this is a 15. 15% 15 land draw ratio, boys. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Oh yeah, good stuff. Yeah, I don't see, yeah, I don't see a vintage here. Well, actually, I do see some slight potential to a degree. But it it, it <sighs> Yeah, see? Yeah, and there's no way I actually can do anything against this. This this dragon is just going to outscale plus this is a sacrifice. Wait, what? That wasn't sac- No, it is a sacrifice. I was thinking, why isn't it popping? So yeah, this dragon completely OP. I don't know why Wizards just allows Cat Oven to exist, honestly. This dragon is absolutely stupid. Cat Oven is absolutely stupid as a concept. Now, Mayhem Devil- Okay, Mayhem Devil can stay short. Sure, who gives a shit, right? But this dragon is completely overstacked and overpowered, and Cat Oven in general is a completely overstacked and overpowered deck card type and combo. Oh, look at that, the cat. Well, I'm just gonna press the concede button. There's no point in mulliganing hands like that when you know that Wizards wants you to lose. It is what it is, boys. It is what it is. You can take the god out of the poker, but you can't take the poker god out of me. Yeah, that made not a lot of sense. But good enough! Good enough! Considering the situation, probably good enough. Technically, this is an extremely high-octane play. <laughs> because Gale Greeters are just unanimously... Well... I don't know. Are we gonna call them broken? I don't feel that. I don't feel that Gale uh, Gale greeters are that super broken, uh, but Gale greeters are definitely a little bit on the sussy buck side, if you know what I mean. Hmm. I can make multiple treasure tokens uh, tokens for uh, from anointed presence, which would be hilarious. Uh, but for now, I'm gonna bu I'm gonna start by buffing them. This looks like something that destroys me on four mana, so I kind of want to feel a little bit more safe than usual. I usually don't feel safe. Yeah, you you see that? Again, every time you get a uh, opener hand with you know something as redonkulous as a lot of this is gonna be pretty sweet. <laughs> Yeah, this is gonna be pretty. Hello there. Your name's Narset. Why do I? Yeah, definitely Clarion on Curve Two Gale Greeters. I, I am currently just. Oof. You know what? Yeah, sure. <laughs> sure. Why not? Let's see what he does. If he doesn't have a way, <sighs> fires decks. So pitiful, so, so not pizzazz, boys. Like, oh, you're playing a fires deck? Fa fa fires with Cavalier of Glaives? That's kind of stupid. Have you never heard of a uh, Planeswalker fires deck? Like, check out my channel. I posted one, like, I don't know, a couple of months ago. Let me click the content tab. I could probably click the search tab because it, it's literally called fires if I'm not mistaken. But you get the point. Anyway, I drop it like it's hot. And then do this, which is the equivalent of nothing. I like it. So, if he has no way of dealing with the anointed presences, th this is gonna be real bad for uh, uh, this old cotton opa dude German again. 
Well, German playing Fires of Invention just because it reminds him of his workplace? Yeah, that seems... that seems extremely on brand if you ask me. Oh god, yeah, Germans. It is what it is, boys. It is what it is. Hmm. Well, he is using an authority, which is technically smart. Omen of the Sea? Okay, that's cool. You can't use counter... Seriously? Th is, is, is that it? Is that literally it, Chief? That's the best you could do right there. Wow, impressive. Anyway, are you gonna even attack? You attacked. Okay, good. Well, not good, good, but again, anointed, uh, anointed presence. Yeah, that's eight. Eight bad boys. We can literally click whatever we want. Because reasons! And, yeah, that's for treasure tokens. Because, I think I already said, treasures are tokens. See, token artifacts. It's it's literally in the name. It's it's kind of implied, one might even say. Okay, so, how, are, how, how am I gonna do this? Real simple. You can't do anything because uh, y y you're a card now, Avatar. Oh boy! <laughs> oh, this is just the most boys. When we pop off, we pop off. Wait, why can't I? Hello? I wanted to activate the land, but I, 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 I guess that's illegal. Uh, four, one. Yes, this is correct, and everything else can go in the face is the place situation. Ah uh, yeah, ah uh, yeah, I actually should have attacked with the Gale Greeter directly. Oh, uh, but this is establishing dominance to a previously unforeseen level. Yeah, I'm just still gonna do this, okay? Yeah, it's, it's not like you're gonna get too much done from that. Oh, the amount of ridiculous thing. Wait, that actually protects from rats. Why? Why? I'm confused. Is is he just being nice against me because this is a workforce in his opinion? Oh no, Fairfish is he's gonna find something that removes stuff. No! Are you shitting me? Oh my, you absolute lame piece of trash. You lame trash lord. Oh my god. Bruh. Bruh, like, dude, that is the lamest thing in the. That is literally the lamest shit ever. I'm, I'm not even joking. The, the, the omega lamest thing in the history of ever. Oh. Sure, yeah. Ruin this ultimatum. Oh, why not? And he had exact mana for it, by the way. Because this card, you need to bait, uh, you can't cast a five cost card if you have only four lands on board. That's like the drawback of Fires of Invention, which is obviously still not a actual drawback dude you know you can you can depopulate me five times a week if you want don't get that one wrong but the fact that you but the fact that you have ruinous ultimatum in the side lane with fake of fishes is just dumb you see Having a 50% win rate with this deck, well, be, be above a 50% win rate with this deck is really, 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 really hard. Because you're gonna get, get against matchups like this, where you literally just don't have a shot. Keep in mind, fires of, fires of Invention decks are pretty shit, unless they have Fires of Invention out. And he played Fires of Invention on Curve. Or one turn later, I'm not 100% sure. But, you know, something essentially of that nature. Which was stupid. And I did not appreciate it. So it is what it is. Yeah. Oh boy. 
Castle Ventress. Oh, oh, oh! You know what I else I did, boys? You know what? Well, you know what else I did? Today, I bought a little bit of squirrel food, and this time the cashier didn't actually even receive any PTSD from me, which is good, I guess. Mostly because she was hot, so I was so I was extra extra nice. Castle Ventress classic classic fires combos. Very bad choice of cards. Cavalier of Glades was just bad. A third one. Well, at least I'm not the only one experiencing a poker relapse or whatever. That's great. So, that game we didn't even draw lands, and this time we just got absolutely Omega countered, and then essentially land flooded. But, you know, land flooded versus what was previously our situation. I can attack and change. Good game bullshit. What kind of idiot plays Ruinous Ultimatum in the sideboard of Fire's Convention deck with a pay of wishes? But yeah. If you do statistically this, a perfectly normal land draw ratio, as they would say. Nice. It's a very fun deck, as you can see. Not the most competitive, but it is a joy to play. So this was Quizzer Sensen. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the channel. Check out Discord. Check out the Patreon. And have a nice day. Bye-bye.